you see, uh, there can be uh, four types of debugs. One is the module level verification debug. SOC level verification debug and is DLS debug for this uh, power aware verification debug. We'll mostly focus on uh, module level verification debug here. Uh, when you say module level verification debug, um, Here, uh, what would happen is, I mean, of course, every debug starts with the, the test failure, uh, mostly the log file reporting uh, error messages, right? Reporting error messages. So the debug approach happens in multiple uh, ways. One is through the waveform tracing. Second is uh, uh, RPL and uh, waveform tracing. I will tell you. Uh, okay, let's see. Let us now write down uh, in detail how. I mean, let us take one example to understand how do we trace any issue. Okay. Uh, here I have set up one RPL code which has got an issue, and we'll try to trace that issue. So through that example, I'll try to. Uh, give you an uh, understanding of how we can trace the issue. Uh, this is about one aspect. Now, the second aspect is uh, when the test is failing, as you see, the issue can be with the test failure can be due to uh, RTL issue or due to test bench issue. Now, test bench issues can be multiple types. The test bench component coding issue, you haven't implemented some part of the functionality properly. Or it could be due to uh, some test bench configuration issue. I mean, let's say you are using a VIP. We are using a VIP. You might be using PCI Express VIP, BDR VIP, etc. Right? And uh, the VIP need to be configured. We need to configure. Uh, we need to set the configuration parameters. VIP. And if we haven't done properly, if this configuration is not done properly, configuration has some issue. Let's say some variables you haven't set properly. Then, uh, of course, you will face the issue because my test bench will not generate the proper scenario or some of the components will not work properly. So, uh, if this configuration is not set properly, so this can also lead to the test case failure. Now, the important aspect is to identify this issue. So the f first thing is in this uh, first thing process to figure out whether the issue is with the uh, uh, just a second the first important aspect of the debug would be to figure out whether the issue is with test bench or whether the issue is with the RTL. So that is something you would get with practice. Uh, now uh, for us to do that now. The first question is, how do we say issue is with RTL or test bench? So that will come based on the log file. I mean, let's say you look at the log file and it also requires some understanding of the expected behavior. I mean, understanding of the expected behavior. What we mean by that is, let's say uh, you are, this is your design, you are applying specific inputs. You have a rough idea of what to expect at the output. Uh, based on that, when, when you see the log file, let's say log file a message will come with some specific error, expected value is this, uh, actual value is this. So based on that, you will figure out whether the expected value is wrong or actual value is wrong. If you have understanding of what to expect at the design output. So that would require us to have some amount of design understanding. I mean, for us to figure out what to expect at the output, uh, it requires us a little bit of design understanding. Only then you can say whether to debug into the RTL or whether to debug into the test 